Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Trix AK Nico. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about dungeons, in particular about the dungeon class system. Ever since it was announced, I was fascinated with how people were preparing for something they couldn't wait to play. And if you're like me, you're probably wondering what exactly to prepare for, except for grinding skills, which is, for example, perfectly represented by Max's road to level 50 in every single skill. And to answer exactly that question, we're now going to take a look at the healer class. The healer is a class you might also know as a supporter from other games, who represents the, like it the name already says, supporter of the team. It's not really important for him to deal damage or to try to soak up the damage like the tank, but rather to strengthen weakened players and try to keep them not only alive, but also buff them to have the run made easier by you. Sadly, this is not shown in the basic stat boost because the healer is the only class that does not have a single stat boost in its kit. I don't really know why they choose to do so, because the healer obviously could always need some mana or speed to help out others, but since they might change it in the future, I guess we'll have to accept it like it is for now. Passive-wise, the healer is greatly supported though, with first up Renew, which is a simple upgrade of 50% of your healing towards other players, as well as a healing aura ability that permanently restores 1% of your teammates health as long as they're close to you. The dungeon ops ability of a healer is a healing circle, which also pretty much explains itself. It's a circle that regenerates 2% of a player's health if they're inside. And the ultimate, called Revive, is also a very simple ability. It revives the dead player. As a ghost, or as long as the healer is dead, you have two abilities. Firstly, a healing potion, which does exactly what it says. And secondly, it's a reviving ability again, which is, if you're dead, is not reviving someone else, but it revives you after a minute, even without a revive stone, which is the item needed to either be revived or revive another teammate of your team. So now that we have talked about the basics of the healer class, let's see how we might actually want to prepare for it. I quickly have to say this again, that everything that follows is going to be based on the current game standards, therefore it might change in the future that I obviously can't predict at the moment, and with that said, I will not include leaked or shown dungeon gear as this should help you prepare for it and can't really do this if it's unavailable content that I'm talking about. Also, it's probably a good idea to mention that I've not only played dungeons on the alpha server myself, but I've also tried to get a lot of different heads behind my ideas to support that idea of the preparation even further. So starting out as we already established, the healer represents the support who isn't really fighting the enemies, but rather supporting the teammates with health and stat boosts. Therefore, the most important aspect would be to get a lot of mana, otherwise known as intelligence. And since it's gained through leveling the alchemy and enchanting skill, that is what you probably want to aim for. Other than that, you could probably also work towards getting a better sustained yourself by upgrading your health or defense stats using fishing, farming or mining, since again, just like with the berserk, you have a lot of areas to choose from, but obviously you would want to focus most importantly on intelligence to support your teammates with helpful items. The two armor sets that I chose are the very wise set top with the Mender helmet and the perfect tier 12 armor top with the Reaper mask. Now here's the deal. I know that a lot of you are probably now wondering. First off, maybe a lot of you don't even know about the Mender helmet in the first place. And for those who do know that it's a dungeon item, why am I including it in a preparation for dungeons? So let me explain. The Mender helmet, and here are the stats, is probably one of the most important parts about a dealer's dungeons kit since there isn't really any other equivalent for it and it's only a rare item which was my thought of why I would make this an exception and this is truly the only one as to where you would prepare for everything except the helmet but since it's a rare item I was hoping for it to be easily obtainable. And for the Reaper Mask set, that's pretty obvious. If you take a look at its effect, that basically doubles all the healing that is done by you, which is, for a healer, probably the biggest boost that you can get. So moving on, we got three pets. The Sheep Pet, which is obviously here to boost your mana. The Jellyfish, with its effect shown here, is basically the healer pet. And lastly, the Ghoul, which not only increases your health done once again, but it also boosts the Zombie Sword and has a pretty substantial amount of mana as well. One more thing about the pets is the Bubblegum upgrade and why I didn't include it. I have played dungeons myself, and I know that only the first two floors were released, but the reason I didn't choose to include the Bubblegum upgrade was because never except for the boss rooms was I ever longer in a spot as to where an orb would actually be helpful if its time is doubled. Adding this to the cost of 5 million coins to buy the upgrade itself was enough for me to not include it on the list. 
So lastly, let's talk about equipment. Here, any endgame sword will do, since your job is not really to care about damage dealing rather than supporting your teammates. This is why the other three items are even more important. First up, we got the Ornit Zombie Sword, whereas the Zombie Sword obviously would also do the job, but the higher upgraded, the better it is. This also applies for the orb. It doesn't really matter what tier of orb you have, although the, the Overflux Orb would most certainly help you out better, since it not only gives you an increased stat boost, but also lasts a minute rather than only 30 seconds. And lastly, the Weird Tubo is an item that basically everyone in the team can run, but as a support, that's just a perfect fit, since you can help out your team by a great ton, with not only speed, but also strength boost. So, to sum it all up, the Keeler is going to be a class in which you will have to prepare to support your team with your equipment as well as abilities. This most certainly makes the healer a very important part of the team, especially in higher tier floors. And since... Except with the one exception of the Mender Helmet, I didn't include already shown or leaked items. I would not advise you to spend all your money on buying exactly what is shown on screen, if you can't afford it. Unlike other classes, spending your money on upgrading your gear will benefit you quite nicely here though, especially if you think about the difference in an upgraded orb. This is just a prediction of what is going to be a top tier start art for healer class, therefore if you want to prepare for it you can choose your own path, but you don't obviously have to strictly follow it since there is going to be a lot of new content coming out that we might actually not even know of at the moment. And if it helped you out or you want to check out the images by yourself, you can do so on my website. I've put all of the classes up there for a better overview. And if you have any questions or changes that you would want to share with me, feel free to join my Discord or follow me on Twitter. If you enjoyed the video, I would highly appreciate a like since this took a lot of hours working on and it will show me that you enjoyed the type of content that I'm creating. And yeah, lastly, if you want to subscribe, feel free to do so to follow whatever I'm going to put out next. And don't forget about the bell to always get notified whenever I'm uploading. Since this is a five part series and I wanted the videos to come out at an actual upload schedule, they're coming out every other day. And if you haven't seen the other ones, feel free to check them out. And I will hope I'll see you in the next one. Since this is basically it though, Thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day.